so I'm gonna be here about 30 minutes, right? So do me a favor, like do me a favor for real, is I'm only giving you 30 minutes, do yourself a favor, right? Do your best to pay attention to me, right? Um, even if you don't want to engage, just write. And I, I wanna start off by this, is letting you know that I'm not trying to come here just to inspire you, right? I wanna have a real conversation, because at the end of the day, I'ma leave and go back to my crib and live my life. And you're gonna go back to your crib and live your life. But it's the reason why we got an opportunity to rock with each other for 30 minutes. I may not ever see you again. And I wanna say this part so you would know that me standing here is not because I have to, it's because I want to. I'm gonna say it again, right? You, you, you're gonna get into a place in your life where some things you just have to do and there's some things you don't have to do. So I'm here today, like real talk, because I want to. I make five to $10,000 to stand up and speak for an hour. And I'll say it again, I make five to $10,000 an hour to speak. I'm not making that here today. Because I say, yo, I come to Lansing and rock out with some people right and give back because I once was the dude who didn't like school like real talk I went to summer school all I wanted to do was to go to the NFL I went to college got an athletic scholarship and it wasn't enough because I wanted to go pro that didn't happen and so when the lights went out and I no longer could play I'm like yo what do I what am I supposed to do next I was lost, like for real. And, and this was the thing about it, is that I didn't even know that I had so much trauma that I was dealing with because I didn't have a dope relationship with my father. Right, he was in the crib, but he wasn't really engaging. And you don't have to raise your hand. Some of you in here today don't know your father, don't rock out with your father, or have a personal relationship with your father. And I know how that is. That's why I work with men. I worked in the prison for 10 years and most of those jokers that was in the prison didn't have, didn't know their father. When I travel the country speaking to adults who's supposed to be helping people and they don't have a relationship with their father, right? So, so my thing today, I just wanna give you a couple points to try to just give you a little bit of encouragement, like, yo, when you leave here, that you don't have to become a statistic. You don't have to become a statistic. So my thing is, how many people like, let's, let's keep it 100, how many people like people telling them what to do? Right? Right, you, you wanna be able to do what you do when you wanna do it, right? How many people like that better? To do it what you wanna do? Right? And, that, and that's what I'm on, like for real. So this is the thing, this is point number one, is that you do what you have to do until you can do what you want to do, right? Because I didn't want people telling me what to do, I punched the clock. Meaning I had a job where people tell me what to do, I had to show up, was missing my children's events, right? They playing soccer, they playing football, they going all of these places, but yours truly couldn't be there. Why? Because I had to go to work. Now listen, everybody has a role, and I'm not disregarding everybody's role. I want to show you how you dominate your lane, but this was the thing. I knew that I had a gift to speak, so I'm like, yo, I'm going to lean in on that. But the first thing I had to do, I had to become educated. I didn't go to college because I wanted to go to college to get a degree. I'm just giving up. That wasn't my reason. My thing was like, it was a business decision. It was a business exchange. I'm, I, I'm like, listen, I don't know how to run a business, so I need to go over there at that institution that they're gonna pay and do it for free. So I'm gonna learn the game on them and then I'm gonna go take that game and put it into what I wanna do. And so the problem with some 
of us at this age, right? We, we, we forget the big picture because we get so caught up in what we don't have or what people are saying, what people are doing, and we're not getting exchanged, right? You come into school every single day and you're not even getting a reward for it. Like for real, listen, if you don't like school that much, right? Then now we gotta do summer school? Like, just, just think about it. Just think about it. If we really, if we really don't like school, and, and then we still got to do summer school. That happened to me twice, and I say, y'all, never again. Because I'm like, y'all, if I'm not feeling it, why do I have to spend time in the summer doing it when I could be doing something else? Right, so, so just think about that. So that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the number one thing. It's like, y'all, you have to change the way you think about your exchanges on a daily on a daily basis like your time is valuable